an international conference co-hosted by the United States and slammed by Iran as a circus. <laughs> Uh, on the Warsaw Conference, I, I believe it's dead on arrival or dead before arrival. I don't think it would do anything. Uh, it's another attempt by the United States to pursue a, an obsession with Iran uh, that is not well founded. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Vice President Mike Pence are both attending the conference in Warsaw. Initially, the Trump administration said the two-day meeting would focus on Iran but later brought in the scope to touch on other conflicts, including Syria and Yemen. But much of the schedule has been vague, amid deep divisions over policy towards the region. A discomfort reflected in the guest list. France and Germany chose not to send cabinet-level officials. Russia and China aren't attending, nor is the European Union's foreign policy chief. Middle Eastern attendees include Israel, Saudi Arabia, and its Gulf allies. For Washington's ally, Israel, it's a chance to tout improved relations with Arab neighbors by uniting well, against a common enemy. Well, I have to tell you that the courageous decision of uh, Sultan Qaboos to invite me to Oman is changing the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's pointing the way for many others to do what you said, not to be stuck in the past, but to seize the future. One of the biggest points of contention is the Iran nuclear deal. Besides Israel, the U.S. and Iran's regional rivals, nearly all countries still back the denuclearization accord. Moving on.